What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video and it's always funny to hear from Twitch about anything in regards to racism, sexism, so on and so forth, mainly because Twitch is this bastion of progressivism in which they have gone so far down the woke rabbit hole that if you're anywhere right of Mao Zedong at this point, you're a bigot. And it's perfectly encapsulated by this right on over here over at Fandom Pulse, Twitch head of policy, outreach and education says America is a racist country. Now, this really does come from libs of TikTok in which they found his TikTok account in which he went on a major tirade after the election of Donald Trump. And you, you can see it right here with Libs of TikTok. Meet Artist Jenkins, the head of global policy and customer support at Twitch. He goes on anti-white rant, says America is a racist country, and blasts Trump and his supporters as bigots and misogynists. Why does CEO Dan Clancy stand for this? Oh, well, we'll keep getting into this a, a little bit deeper because it's so rich hearing any of this coming from a Twitch employee, especially right now. But let's see what he actually had to say, goes, shall we? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. 2016 was not a fluke. Donald Trump is the most American president we ever had, and he reflects who America really is. America that's right. He does reflect who America really is. America is a patriotic, American loving individuals that just want to see Americans thrive. That's all he cares about. And that's what Donald Trump is the truest sense of America. But what do you think he is? America is a racist country. American is a country that will prioritize a white candidate who is riddled with controversy and inadequacy and racism and bigotry over a highly qualified woman, over a highly qualified person of color. So it's now around 11 o'clock. You don't really need to see the rest of this as he keeps going on the exact same tirade. You've heard it all before. You've been hearing it over and over and over again the past couple of days. And it's really shocking though to hear anything like this coming from a Twitch person right now, especially somebody honestly in charge of Twitch's, you, you know, global policies and customer support right now, you know, some of the trust and safety departments and some of the things that they go on there, especially with global policy right now, because uh, some of the issues that have been going on in regards to Twitch. Yeah, for those of you who have been paying attention, Twitch has actually been radically accused right now of anti-Semitism. That's right. Twitch is promoting anti-Semitism all over the place. And I don't really give a darn what you think about the Palestine Israel war. I don't really care. Okay. I'm not going to come out here and actually try to talk about it either because I'm just some dumb, dumb on the internet. I don't know anything about global politics other than I care about America. But when it comes to Twitch right now, they're in a massive scandal considering the amount of individuals that are over on Twitch that do push blatant anti-Semitism, blatant Jew hate, blatant disdain for Israel, all because of the stupid war that's going on over there. And it's encapsulated by Hassan Piker always getting pushed to the top, getting those big Muku bucks and being basically the face of the platform. But hey, it's not just the fact that they, you know, platform these individuals, which they have every right to have. And Hassan has every right to have this platform. I want him to have this platform. Gives me content from time to time. But it's also, when we come over here, and now this comes from our r slash asmongold and asmongold did do a reaction video to this that i'm gonna actually link down in the description down below this video is of a massive twitch leak that came out a couple weeks ago in which a youtuber was handed twitch information that outright specified that twitch was banning users in israel just for living in israel and was taught promoting anybody that was pro-Palestine because their Twitch trust and safety department was pro-Palestine. 
all of them have the exact same mentality and all of them push the exact same agendas. And the reason this came out was because of the CEO, Dan Clancy, being inadequate. Again, I'll link this video and also Aspen Gold's video in the description down below for you guys to watch because it's a really good watch and kind of funny if you actually sit down and think about it. But when it comes to all this, again, it, it's really funny just to hear somebody in charge of these outreach, these uh, head of policy and trying to be, you know, good for people. When you have this scandal going on, when you have people coming out here and calling you anti-Semitic, saying that your platform is filled with propaganda supporting Palestine, filled with this disgusting rhetoric, I, it's just perfect to have you come out here and try to expound on what is racist and what's not racist and what is bigoted and what's not bigoted because you're currently promoting it over on your platform. Oh, and, and again, don't just take, you know, MSNBC's word for it. Why don't we actually, you know, come over here, Digby, why online organizers are pres pressuring advertisers to reconsider Twitch brand safety over anti-Semitic claims. Oh, and, and then, you know, you, you have this Twitch and Dan Clancy with Hassan. Happy birthday. You guys remember this moment where Twitch and Dan Clancy came out here and saying happy birthday to Hassan Piker. It, it, it just prattled on to Hassan Piker with happy birthdays. Happy birthday to you. What the fuck? Happy birthday to you. Bro, we're never beating the Hassan runs Twitch allegations out. Yeah, all of the Twitch staff come out here saying happy birthday to Hassan. Uh, you, you, you gotta love it. Oh, we also got Frogan. And Frogan is also, you know, uber anti-Semitic. And over at TwitchCon just last month, they uh ha had this wonderful little podcast in this wonderful little uh area in which they they made a beautiful little board promoting everybody that's super pro Palestine and a part of their whole uh, organization. And when it came down to individuals like Ethan Klein, they openly called him a Zionist and promoted these views at TwitchCon on an official Twitch podcast. And I know Frogan's over here complaining that anybody's talking about it because Ethan Klein made this uh, very nice video on the whole topic. But you're getting accused of all this right now. Okay, you have all this mounting evidence that says Twitch is anti-Semitic, that says Twitch pushes these ideals, that Twitch is promoting people that are pro-Palestine and are promoting pro-Palestine views. So I don't really want to hear it from a Twitch lead individual, somebody who's in charge of a lot of these policies, somebody who's in charge of actually pushing these stuff out there about how America is racist because we elected Donald Trump when your own platform is being accused of all this anti-Semitism and the promotion of some very sick and disgusting ideology. I, I just, I find it very uh, uh, disingenuous and kind of hypocritical right now. Maybe go check under your own boot before you start criticizing anybody else. But I'm going to leave it there. Let me get your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it on friends. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.